When I started planning out the studio before we actually finished buying the place and I actually started building it, I ended up just kind of keeping tabs on the media that I liked watching, looking for inspiration of setups I might do, of workflow ideas. I watched a lot of the Caleb Pike desk setups, most stuff I've already seen, but you know, just trying to glimmer any little idea I wanted from it. And then I found a golden nugget that I really wanted to recreate. That's purely for aesthetics, barely practical, although I'm gonna make it practical, but I think it's really cool. This right here, this is an image from an X-Play episode, specifically the God of War 3 reveal, where they show them playing God of War 3 and trying it out for the first time and things like that. And they have two different of these TV stands where they have at least four televisions, fairly big ones. I think those are like 32 inches at least mounted on this system with side rails and everything. And then they had a few other similar things on Attack of the Show where they have an entire TV wall and they've got a podium with the TV flat on it. And then I remembered that level one tax window set has two big old 55 inch TVs in the back. I wanted to build something like this. And my original idea was to actually build this, but then I realized that that would take a lot of wood. Wood's very expensive right now in the pandemic and it would take up a lot of space. And space is actually at a premium even though I've upgraded you know, places. So I'm going to recreate that very idea, but I'm going to do so right here on this wall. I have this awkward transition between the blue and the gray, and I have the same transition over there, but we've added a piece of trim so that it kind of makes it nice. And I do have the trim for it all the way over there. Uh, I end ended up putting the wrong pieces of trim on the wrong side, but that's fine. But I actually want to mount TVs right here and create a video display wall. And we might even put one there. I have the LG CX OLED here, but I may put a cheaper one here or something. But this is the perfect space to also help cover up the window, which is frankly an eyesore, cover it up a little bit and get a nice display wall. Now I've since decided that I want a desk here. This is a temporary setup, but I want a desk extension here for my retro computers. And I have this TV stand here. So I may only do two or three of them up here and put another one somewhere else. But I, I, I went ahead before Christmas even hit, before we started doing most of this, I picked up four TVs for this because on the Black Friday Cyber Monday deals, keep in mind this was two weeks after we actually bought the house, so that's how excited for this idea was. Best Buy had these cheap O 720p Insignia TVs open box for about a hundred bucks, a little under a hundred bucks for some of them. So I was able for about 400 bucks to get four 32 inch TVs with Visa mounting and HDMI inputs. Now again, these are really not good TVs. These are their in-store Insignia brand. That one's covered in styrofoam from the box. But these are their in-store Insignia brand, which was never, you know, the highest quality brand. These are open box, so they've already been messed with a bunch. And they are only 720p. So the screen door effect of seeing the pixels, if you get like right up on top of it, is very clear. But for being in the background when it's set up here, you know, I'm not gonna stand up right on the TV and look right at it, you know, Michael Scott style. So that won't really matter. But for displaying graphics and things like that in the background, I think it's gonna be sick. And these actually even have composite input if I wanted to run other things to it. So I really think this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna set it up with video DJing software and stuff so I can control all the inputs from a computer and all sorts of awesomeness. So we're going to start is I need to drill a tiny hole here, which if I end up putting the trim up would cover it up anyway. So I need to drill a tiny hole here and make sure this is actually a stud. Cause theoretically there are studs on both sides of the windows, but my stud finder, stud finders in general aren't great. It's not giving me a whole lot of certainty. So I need to, I have four of these Vivo monitor arms that just attaches with two screws. They come with big old lag bolts that can either go in anchors or directly into studs. So. I need to drill a tiny hole where that center screw will be and see if I hit a stud and feel confident that that's going into a stud. Otherwise, I need to drill a bigger hole for the anchors, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to go right here. So I do need to do some measuring at some point to make sure I space them out appropriately. But since the arms are flexible in terms of height, I should be fine. So I am very excited to finally get started on this. This video is brought to you by Nerd or Die and their new Vibrance Stream Overlay Package. Whether you stream on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, this clean, concise, but very colorful stream package might be for you. If you like hard, clean edges, sharp corners, and 
really being able to customize your color scheme to pretty much anything you can imagine with a really sick stinger transition this is the stream pack for you as always you have customizable widgets for recent sub follow tip alerts you got webcam frames you got chat boxes you've got borders you've got alerts you've got everything you can imagine and if you get the full complete package with the source files then you have the entire after effects file to tweak to your heart's content head on over to eposvox.gg slash nerd or die and use coupon code eposvox to save 15 percent at checkout first and foremost we need to cut this and not have it spring out and hit me so that's going to be awkward That's a spring. That'll hold a fair amount of weight. These 32 inch TVs are not heavy, but they are still kind of large. But I feel confident in that weight support. So if we stretch it out here, I need to see how far down this will go. Because I think this is still the height, the max height it will, or you know, the minimum height. And then from there, the weight of the TV kind of weighs it down. But the last thing I want is to mount it in the wrong spot. And that's where this gets awkward since I'm doing a bunch of these. I have to get the measurements right. So I gotta figure out where exactly it's gonna go. They mount on the wall like this, but this is about an inch off of the trim here, which may mean we are not in a stud this far out. And I only have so much as far as height goes before I'm hitting the ceiling with the top of the mount. So this is gonna get kinda awkward. Speaking of awkward, I have no idea where to put this camera that'll actually see anything. That'll work. All right, I've got the lag bolts ready. We are just gonna mount this in here and see if it's secure. I'll put the first TV on it so we can figure out spacing for the next ones. And they're not magnetic, or they're too heavy. This is what it's looking like so far. I'm pretty stoked. Now, I don't think I realized initially that there's no way to have it completely block its own mount without having it sticking out from the wall a whole lot. So it's not even centered over the window either. Uh, so I may, we'll, we'll play with how far away from the wall it comes out in order to make that work. Cause we also don't want it just eating up all that vent air either necessarily. This is the idea, so. Boom, we're at least getting three here before we have to worry about space. But I think that's gonna look sick once everything's powered up and routed. Then we got a little gnarly. The screws are not the highest quality thing going into the wall. So I stripped it pretty easily, but I was able to socket it into place. And that is the idea. So like I said, I am stoked. We are going to try to measure and see how we can install the second one to get it lined up the same. Well, I knew this was a risk, but I thought I measured it right. We are three inches too high. The TVs are overlapping and there's no extra give to get rid of that. And that's basically on the ceiling anyway. So we gotta move this even though the screws have already stripped. Yay! I'm kind of frustrated. These are clearly not meant to be used like in this way. And it was so much easier to screw it into the wall when it was already put together and now it's not. Oh boy. But once I get this one in, then I'll have an easier time measuring between the two of them to get the next one in. But I will have to cover up this chunk of the wall gap here because it's going to have a big hole in it. Yeah.
These are the screws I'm using. These are just basic interior wood screws. These are, I forget which length they are, I believe, like I said, four inches. I have these longer ones. That's a little too long for comfort. We only need this one. Two of those inside the washers that come with it, and we're good. So, a little correct measurement later, making sure I got the actual distance between these two, and I was mostly able to complete the job. I ran into one small snag in that the third one being mounted was then pushed up against the windowsill and could not go flat against the wall like the rest. But I think the end result is pretty sick, especially with the lights off and everything set up as it's supposed to be. They're not... They're not lined up properly, but we got like a cascading row of four displays that are currently all streaming Twitch streams, but eventually they'll be hooked up to a big video mixer along with the screen on the top left and the LG TV so that I can display video graphics and things like that and even control it during my streams. I got some LEDs on the back and I, I, I just think the result was worth it. And this is the last moving vlog, guys, so thank you so much for your support. This was the last piece of the setup before I reveal what everything looks like in the studio office. So I'll see you next time.